to get knocked over on your can tomorrow because, you know, we're dealing with those gusty winds. And if it is a trash day for you, uh, watch out because the winds are going to continue to pick up in the morning hours. They're going to peak out tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. You may want to have your mask candy, too. I know especially you folks that have respiratory issues, asthma, you know, some of that's going to be blowing around. So these will certainly come in handy. Let's talk about the winds and what we're going to be dealing with. I mean, there's a look at your peak wind gust 60 and the time of those peak winds are right here between four in the afternoon and 11 o'clock. That's how it looks right now. After 11 o'clock and before four o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to still be very gusty out there. But what we're going to be tracking is a cold front that will be coming through late tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. That's going to cause some colder temperatures and a little wind chill. So here's what we're going to be concerned about. Some light structural damage with some of the gusty winds. You might want to secure your patio furniture. If your kid's got the trampoline in the backyard, uh, secure that as well. Roof shingle damage. That will be a possibility, along with maybe some of the trees being uprooted. We're talking about some of the young trees. Maybe you did some spring planting, so watch out for that as well. Here's a look at our dust tracker. Here's a look at lunchtime. And we're going to be tracking some of that blowing dust and sand around parts of town. So may get a little rough, you know, if you're driving around a high profile vehicle as well. But look at this by nine o'clock. That's about when that front's going to start to push through here. And we could see some heavier dust and sand being lifted. And that will continue to drift off towards the southeast. I still think by Wednesday morning, some dust and sand, but again, some of that cooler air will settle in as we head throughout the day. But if you get caught in a dust storm, you're out there driving around, pull off the road as far to the right, perhaps as you can get, turn off your lights, your foot off the brake, and you're going to want to watch and wait for some better visibility. So 60 mile an hour gusts tomorrow, 40 on Wednesday. So certainly in that windy category. And as I talked about with the cooler temperatures, that wind will have a little bit of a bite to it. Uh, we're going to be talking about an April bite, so some of you may need a windbreaker or at least a light jacket. Then the winds settle down. This is the good news for really Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. In the breezy category, again, these are going to be the peak wind gusts that we see. There comes that front that's going to move through late tomorrow into early Wednesday. So 63 will be the overnight low. We're going to be looking at clear skies, but certainly in the windy category. 83 tomorrow. The winds will really begin to crank up as the day progresses. 52 overnight in Las Cruces. Your high temp tomorrow will make it up to 79, but then the cold front comes through here, and that's when temperatures will drop to 72 on Wednesday. Still a first alert day. Then 78 on Thursday. We start to really warm things up. Look at your upcoming holiday. We got Good Friday at 84, and then potentially we're going to be right around 90 degrees. That's what we anticipate for your Easter Sunday. We'll be back with sports after this.